How's it going James with Online Car Show? I'm starting a video series here on detailing my car or how I detail my car. I get a lot of questions online about how do you keep your car so shiny on the interior, on the exterior, the paint. Uh, so I'm going to start a series here basically on how you can detail your car from, you know, easily from your driveway and your garage. Without hesitation, let's get this video started. So I've gotten a lot of questions online, you know, how do I keep the uh, the red so shiny and whatnot. Uh, and those not familiar, I had a race this weekend here with Bubba Blue, you can see back in my previous videos. Uh, so she's, you know, hitting love bugs and different bugs at 80 to 100 miles an hour or whatnot. So the front end's pretty dirty and deserving a car wash for sure. And uh, not to mention, you know, rubber and stuff underneath the uh, underwood. So uh, with we're going to start this video uh, and do basically in this video I'm going to go through on just the first step you know washing the wheel washing the car the products I use uh, and steps you should take also uh, as you can see I've got my uh, nasty 2SS shirt on boy so uh, you need to go out if you're not familiar with nasty 2SS go out and check it his YouTube channel and uh, make sure you check out a couple of his videos. He's got a 15 Camaro that just sounds bad. He's got a cam, exhaust, the works, uh, and he tears, you know, he tears up the streets pretty good. So go check him out, see what he's got going on. All right, for step one, I simply like to just, you know, get our canvas wet here that we're going to be, you know, the car we're going to be cleaning. Uh, and the first step is going to be also cleaning the wheels. So I'm going to spray down the car and give the wheels a good soaking. Uh, and then we'll move on to the wheel cleaning process. Also in this step, you do want to use a little bit of pressure and go ahead and you know knock off any debris that something would be on the paint. Uh, try to cover the entire car, knock off every, anything you can. Believe it or not, you'll get you know 70 to 90 percent of the dirt just initially with the gun. Also be sure to get off any bugs that are on the front fascia. This is a good time you can use the pressure of the water to get most of those guts and all that nastiness off the paint. Now that we got her all sprayed off, the next step is going to be to go ahead and clean our wheels. Use a wheel cleaner, let it soak, you know. After you get done with all four wheels, you know, come back to the first one, I would say uh, let it sit for four or five minutes in between after you get done with that last wheel and then come back and start the rinsing off the first wheel. Just want to take your wheel cleaner, use a liberal amount. Go ahead and uh, because I don't have any tire dressing, I am going to go ahead and use the wheel cleaner on the tire too. It will get a lot of the uh, iron and so forth that's, that comes from the brake dust off the tire. Get underneath or inside the wheel well, really good. We'll go ahead and do the other three wheels, wait about four or five minutes, come back and we'll wash this sucker off. You'll notice after that four or five minutes, uh, and you do wanna spray it off before it dries, but you'll notice it'll turn red. This is collecting, you know, the different irons and so forth that are on the wheel from the brake dust and carbons and uh, collecting them. So when you spray it off, it's gonna clean all that nasty brake dust off your brake calipers, off the wheels, etc. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's that step done you'll notice this will actually clean up your wheels and get about uh, you know 95% of the stuff off there we'll come back when we wash the cars and use some brushes and stuff and get the rest of it out be sure to repeat that process on the other three wheels of course One bucket method. From my heart. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass! And I'm going to show you why. Here's my bucket. It's got a grime guard inside. This is going when you rinse off your uh, your towel or whatnot. This is going to catch all the dirt and grime and stop the uh, stop your mitt from going in there and collecting it all and going on your paint and make, putting scratches on it. So I do use a grind guard in there, and the reason I only use one bucket is because I do use a foam gun. With a one bucket method, uh, or with, with a foam gun, you can actually get away with the one bucket method. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray, spray the car with soap, then we're just gonna use our mitt to basically wipe off that, uh, wipe off that soap. We'll clean the mitt inside the bucket here and uh, you can get away with using one bucket. If you do not have one of these guns or a way to apply the soap, you do want to use a two bucket method. Put your grime guard in the bucket still that you're only going to put water in. So we're going to fill this bucket up with water even with the one bucket method, uh, not soap. Fill it up with water uh, with the two bucket method. If you don't have one of these, you're going to fill up with one with water and one with soap. You don't really need a grime guard in the one with soap. Have it in the one that you're cleaning off stuff with. Go ahead and fill your container up with water uh, three quarters of the way, maybe a little more if you want. Work. Go ahead and put this in. When it gets halfway to the top, spray down a little bit more. That, uh, what you're going to use to soak the car really good in soap. All right, as far as mixing it goes, I believe there's some instructions. You're supposed to use a one-third uh, one soap to two-thirds water mixture. Uh, I generally kind of eyeball it, and uh, I use a little bit less than that, and it probably didn't stick on my vehicle as much as you can get away with. But it saves me a little bit in soap, so there we go. So I'm going to fill up just the bottom. Now, you don't have to fill up this whole dang thing to wash your car, right? Uh, honestly, with two cars, I only had it. Uh, I washed my wife's Jeep and this car and uh, only had her filled up to like here. So we're going to fill it up to about here after we put soap in it. I would say that's maybe a third of the container and uh, go from there. And I don't know if y'all can see how much soap I actually have in there. It'll stay enough while I twist it, but it's just basically covering the bottom. Probably enough right there once the suds settle and so forth. Twist our cap on and then just give it a little mix here. Make sure the water and the soap is mixed good in. You don't want it to all turn to foam and whatnot, but that's it. Clipper on the foam gum. Also in this step, uh, we do want to go ahead and use a different, uh, something to clean the outside surface of the wheels than used on the body of the car. Uh, we're going to spray it down with soap. And take a uh, wheel brush here, if you will. Just go ahead and get in there, clean all around. Inside the wheel. Once you got it to a spot you're happy with, go ahead and get water on your uh, towel or whatnot to clean the outside surface. Give it a good rinse. Soap it. All the outside cracks. 
Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can take a little lug brush like this. It's hollow in the inside. You can pick them up at AutoZone or whatnot. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description, those that want to order one. And uh, you just take it, go through here, clean her out. Now what we're going to do, spray her off. There you have it. Spray it down. I generally, I don't spray the whole car like you see on these Instagram posts. I'm only going to start with one section. If you do one section, you usually want to go from the top down. Uh, so I'll either start on the hood to the front or I'll start on the very rooftop and work my way forward and then I'll cover the rest of the car. Now uh, before we do it, what you can do if you want to be a little bit, you know, that OCD, you can go ahead and spray this down, clean off all the soap, and then come back and soap it again. Because that atom of soap is going to catch a lot of the grime too, spraying it down didn't catch. So if you really want to be anal about it, I don't ever do this, but you can do it this way. You got a $100,000 car or something, you want to take that extra care, just go ahead and give it a pre-wash. Uh, if not, I typically just spray it down and then start wiping. So, we'll do it again. Give it a good cover, you know, cover it all. You don't have to go crazy. Just give it a good even coat. Before you apply this to the car, you do want to go ahead and soak it in water. Just take this nice and wet. And basically, you, the biggest thing here is don't let that sucker dry. You know, the more water you have on the vehicle, the less likely you are going to be, or less likely you're going to have, you know, the micro scratches and stuff like that going on. So constantly take your towel, rinse her off in the water. Soap is going to act like a lubricant on that paint. Stop you from uh, getting scratches and so forth. Make sure you get everywhere. You can see I'm already running. I've already got the water down almost halfway just from that. So you may have to constantly fill it up. All you do is well, I'll move to the roof and the back and then I'll do the side one side and the other side so uh, we're gonna fast forward that part so I typically clean it uh, I usually use a little bit of detail spray or how I dry it I should say and of course just wipe one direction flipping your towel as you're doing it. You are going to accumulate some dirt. And if you see your towel get dirty, you know, from stuff that you missed during the car wash, be sure to uh, switch her out. So, we'll move to the next section. Spray a little bit. One direction. as can be continue that step of the whole car and you'll be good 
All right, got her all, uh, all the water dried up, got the uh, wheels dried off. Uh, they should be good to go. Uh, one of the things I didn't discuss in this video was undercarriage wash and under hood. Uh, if you do need to clean the under hood, the engine compartment, or the undercarriage of the car, or the wheel wells here, uh, there's two products I use here I'll show you. Uh, one being, this is the one Chemical Brother, or Chemical Guys, or whatever product I use, Chemical Guys. It's an orange degreaser. I use that on the motor under the hood. Uh, typically you do it at the same time as you do your tires or right before actually. So the first step you would do, you're just going to spray a generous amount of this all over the motor, uh, any little nook and cranny in the engine bay. Uh, then get your water hose and spray it off and dry it off with a towel afterward. Microfiber of course. Now as far as the undercarriage, can't find it right now, but it, here we go. It's almost out, but we've got an undercarriage spray. You can use this underneath the vehicle. I typically will even spray it as long as they're, you know, bone dry and stuff. I'll even spray this on my exhaust pipes, uh, the painted black Flowmaster exhaust pipes on the back and give them a washing. You'll do this the same time or directly after you do the engine bay and you're doing the tires or the wheels. Uh, you spray it underneath the car here along the sides really good spray up underneath there uh, if you're doing a car show where they're actually going to use a mirror under the car this is good stuff to use for that uh, getting underneath and it's also good to use on the wheel wells spray a generous amount on it uh, if you do want to use a brush or something you can under the car but uh, typically I just spray it on and then use a you know a water gun and spray it off and it's done uh, so there you have it for the undercarriage and the under hood so now that we've got the body all cleaned up, all dry, uh, next step is going to be apply some tire dressing. Now typically for the tire dressing, I'll use a sponge like this. Uh, I believe Adams makes another one that's real nice. I'm not sure who makes this. I think I got this off Amazon real cheap or something, but it's got a nice little textured surface, foam, it bends. Uh, we're just going to spray, you know, a liberal amount of here on there, especially when we're first starting it up. You know, I usually just kind of apply some little cross hatch in there enough to get her good and soaked and we will spread it out over the sidewall of the tire and that's done looks pretty good actually it was enough to cover the whole thing with one pass if you run low just spray a little bit more on there so that's done we'll complete or continue that process you won't need as much about half the much for the additional wheels because you'll still have some on here but looks really good you'll want to let it dry at least a good 15 20 minutes before driving the vehicle and it is probably still going to spray some on the top uh, all right just kind of as a last step uh, i like to clean off the outside of the windows uh, you have two options here uh, i'm using this armor all ultra shine protectant as an example but it's not really window stuff but they do make window stuff is little wipes that you lift up you know the lid pull out a thing it's already got windex on it wipe it off those works great and let's be honest it's just cleaning the windows uh so we've also got just a typical glass cleaner spray it on use a paper towel uh, some type of microfiber and uh wipe it off easy as can be uh, outside of the vehicle it doesn't matter what you use you can use windex uh doesn't matter now the inside is a different thing if you've got window tinting uh, in some of the vehicles, you may have some kind of protectant layers too. You don't want to use ammonia or Windex type products on the interior windows of your car. You want to use something, as you can see here, ammonia free. You want to use a product like that. Uh, there's a bunch of them out there. Typically anything at AutoZone will be ammonia free. Uh, but you want to stay away from your household window cleaners that have ammonia in them. They'll turn your window, or your window tint green, blue, purple, who knows. But that's how you see those cars, you know, with the window tint and it's purple or it's green or whatever. It's because they use some crappy window cleaners inside their car. So just make sure this is spray away. You can get it at Walmart, Sam's, whatever, Costco. Super cheap. Uh, it works great. No problems for me. Uh, and uh, make sure you give them a good clean off. Well, that's it, guys, for the car wash video. Uh, there is this is going to be a multi-part series. We're going to get into detail in the interior, vacuuming, all 
the nine yards of how I clean my car. I typically do the washing. Uh, this could be dependent on car washes or what's going on with the car. But uh, typically, if I don't have any car washes coming up and stuff like that, I'll do wash the car like as you just saw maybe every other week. Uh, it'll come back into a full wax. Actually, I'm a little overkill with it, so you probably don't need to go that crazy. But I do wax the car about once a month. So uh, it is Houston, the temperatures are hot, etc. here. So there's a lot of reasons for why I do that. But uh, there you have it. Let me know in the comments if you've got any tips for me on stuff you do with your car uh, to wash it that are different than me. I like to hear them. And uh, be sure to uh, keep a lookout for a mod video we've got coming up later this week. We're also going to look at a Camaro refresh viewer comments video I'm going to try to plan here. Uh, a Flowmaster exhaust review and we're going to do finish this multi-part series so thanks for watching my videos I can't stress that enough guys and uh, y'all be sure to hit that red button below so y'all don't miss my next one thank you